Even after defeating George Groves twice, Carl Frutch apparently still harbors some resentment towards the man, for whatever reason. He says here, I was happy to stand up and applaud him. He'd won a world title at the fourth attempt. Seeing anyone fulfill their dream is nice, even if they are not your best mate. And he's obviously talking about the Chudinov fight there. It grows one, a world title of the fourth attempt. But he goes on to say, but I won't miss him. And I am not sure that the British, uh, that British boxing will miss him. These days, at least. There was nothing left out there for him. He'll be remembered for all those mind games and smart words that he came out with. But I have to be honest, I never found him funny or clever. <laughs> so those are the words that the Cobra Carl Frotch Still no love lost between him and George Groves. Strange. <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, Frotchy boy is still not happy with the way Groves spoke to him. And knocking him out twice clearly didn't satisfy him. <laughs> he, would, he wanted more than that. Maybe he wanted to see George Groves crash and burn. He says he was happy for Groves to win a world title. Was it all fake? Because the way he's carrying on here... It sounds as though him applauding Groves' win over Chudinov was fake. It was just for the cameras, for Sky Sports and all that kind of business. But deep down, he clearly still doesn't like the man if he can't say anything nice about him in his retirement. <laughs> it's crazy. But did George Groves say anything nice about Frutch in his retirement, to be fair? I can't remember. Maybe Groves didn't say anything nice about Frutch, and maybe that's why Frutch is uh, coming back at him like this. But as far as British boxing... Not missing Groves. I think British boxing will miss Groves. I'm not saying Groves was the biggest name in British boxing. He was a big name. I'm not saying he was the biggest name. But his fights always had a massive amount of support. George Groves often had a band playing at his fights. You remember the George Groves band where they were playing the drums and all, all that kind of business with the trumpets or whatever it was they had? Great atmosphere at George Groves fights. Those people are going to miss him. I'm going to miss him, to be honest with you. I loved watching George Groves and the way his career panned out. But I also understand that it was time for him to bow out. You know, all the injuries, the grueling ups and downs. Finally winning a world title at his fourth attempt, but only managing to defend it a couple of times before he was badly injured and then ultimately lost it to Callum Smith. So... I think he retired at the right time, to be honest. Um, I understand that he had to retire, but I will miss the good times that we had with George Groves, definitely. And I'll think back on his career with fond memories. There is part of me which thinks that George Groves was maybe an unfulfilled talent, that he could have done better than he, than he actually did. And a lot of people are going to say that if he'd stayed with Adam Booth, if they'd managed to sort out the differences rather than going their separate ways, then perhaps Groves could have achieved more than he did. But, you know, we'll never know now. That's all in the past. And again, I will miss George Groves. I'll miss the old days of George Groves when he was firing on all cylinders, when he was the young, brash, cocky upstart. I personally did find George Groves entertaining, you know, particularly in the lead up to that first Frutch fight. He got under Frutch's skin. I found it funny. I found it entertaining. The way that he told Frotch, I'm going to hit you with two right hands. And I'm going <laughs> to, you know, the rest, he, he said, he told him what he was going to do in the first round. George Groves went out and did it. I mean, wasn't that entertaining? Wasn't it entertaining to see someone as high and mighty and, as Frotch being wound up and have someone get under his skin? Because Frotch was always trying to wind other people up, Right. When he fought Andre Ward, he was saying, oh, this, that, and the other about him, trying to wind him up, trying to get him up, get under his skin. It was nice to see the roles reversed, the tables turned, and someone doing to Carl Frutch what he usually attempts to do to other people. I mean, Carl Frutch was doing that to Joe Calzaghe when Carl Frutch was a young upstart, trying to get under Calzaghe's skin and gold him into a fight. So, yeah, for me, I remember the first Frutch Groves fight with. Very fun memories. It was a, a great event. And it was an incredible situation where 
George Groves was booed into the ring and he was cheered out of it. And that was a pro frutch crowd. <laughs> you know? So I can't imagine all those people who cheered George Groves out the ring that night are not going to miss him in his retirement. They are going to miss him. So, but whatever the case may be, Frutch and Groves, maybe they'll still have beef when they're old men. <laughs> you know, like Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier. It was mainly from Frazier. Frazier was always bitter towards Ali. Um, throughout their senior years, will it be a case of Frutch being bitter towards Groves, Groves being bitter towards Frutch, both of them being bitter towards each other? Who knows? Who cares at the end of the day? You know, we, we've all got people that don't like us and we don't like. That's just part of life. But let me know what you think in the comment section below about Carl Frutch's comments here. Are they distasteful? And refresh my memory. Uh, let me know if George Groves said something not too complimentary about Carl Frutch when Frutch retired. Drop it all in the comment section below. It's happening I'm out. Join me on Patreon. I upload a minimum of two podcasts every single week covering a wide variety of controversial topics as well as live stream Q&A sessions. Take a look on screen right now at some of the podcasts I've produced so far. For just $3 a month, the equivalent of about £2 a month, you get access to all my new podcasts and my entire back catalogue of past podcasts, including my popular Confessions of a Nightclub Bouncer series. You can listen on your computer or on your smartphone or tablet by downloading the Patreon app from the Google Play Store or the App Store for free. The Patreon app also allows you to download each podcast in MP3. For less than the price of a cup of coffee, you get access to dozens of hours of exclusive content. It's easy to sign up, there's no contract, and you can cancel at any time. So come and join our community of free and critical thinkers by signing up with me here on Patreon today.